we're going to start our creating our PowerPoint. This is based on the research that you have been doing for the last week. We know that we've talked about the lungs, the heart, the eye, the pancreas, the kidney, the brain, and the ear. On Friday, if you remember, we dissected the eye and we looked at the parts of the eye and we also cut open the kidney so that we could see the inside of the kidney. But now what I want us to do is to create a PowerPoint that has to do with all of those organs that maybe I could use for my next year's kids. So I started with this and I did a did you know because this was kind of like my cool fact. Did you know that the heart beats three billion times in an average person's life? Did you know that? No. But before we do all of that, we have to do our pre-planning. So now I'm going to bring up this one. Here's your assignment. We're going to create a slide that illustrates your first research question. What's a big important word there that tells you what you're going to do? Yeah. We're going to create. When you're talking about the lungs, that you're going to talk about the trachea, all those things, all those words that are back there. Before your group begins working with a laptop, don't even open your laptop until you've done all of your pre-planning. Take the paper, take the whiteboard, divide it into three sections. Slide one, slide two, slide three. As you're going through that, I want you to write exactly what you're going to be putting in that slide. If you would like to, you know, write some notes. Oh, here's a picture that we're going to do. I'd like to try something here. You are doing all those group things that we've talked about. Listen to each other respectfully. Share ideas. Each person has to be responsible for something. I have some extra books over here. There's a model of an eye. There's the lung, so you can be looking at those things also. This is the brain, and we found out that the um, cerebrum controls the voluntary muscles, and the voluntary muscles are the muscles that you can move them with when you want them to. Mm -hmm. Then the uh, cere cere cerebellum. Yeah, mm -hmm. cerebellum controls the balance, movement, and coordination. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's how your muscles work together. Mm -hmm. Then the brain stem. It's like one of the most important ones because it it connects the brain to the spinal cord. Also, it is in charge of um, staying alive. It is in charge of you staying alive, like breathing. To basically perform. To stomach acid. So you neutralize the stomach acid to break down the food into even simpler chemical. One just can. Okay, okay, just wait. Okay, so it. It neutralizes. Neutralizes. Just yeah. a second. Just a second. New the nerves. The nerves have branch out from the spinal cord. We need trachea. We already have bronchi. We have bronchioles. We we, we just did alveoli. We, uh, we're doing capillaries. All we need is red blood cells. And Trachea. It says that it sends uh, messages, sends within, messages within milliseconds. Yeah. So that's really fast, and that's kind of hard to so, believe. Okay. The what's the a brainstem? The brainstem brain helps controls. you move your fingers without having to like say no move or something. No, like the brain the brainstem would like it's the one that. Like you know that your blood pumps by itself. That's the, the, that's the because the blood pumps by itself because of brainstem. Without you thinking about it. Okay, so your brainstem makes your blood pump without you having to say blood. Pump. Yeah. No, I don't know. Let's see. Really cool facts about no, the it's kind of hard to find anything. We'll keep looking. You know what? You want to see if we can Google something? All right, why don't you go ahead and get online and let's see if we can Google something. We didn't have very many things in our papers because me and Mason both missed. Um, yeah, yeah. Like well, and that, that's okay. Let's let's Google on the paper. You're fine. You're doing exactly what you need to do. It's like you're ready to start the ear and then put like what it does. Or no, not what it does, but what it is. The word can go over it. Oh, look at that one. That one yeah, has a brainstem. And then we can label it. What did you do? I put this down. Your eye is a mu uh, iris is a muscle. Okay, so your iris is a muscle. Do you know what your iris does? It contracts and expands. Uh huh. And what is what does it contract and expand? 
uh, according to the amount of light that's in the surrounding area. I want you to talk with your people that are with you about what kinds of things that you're going to need to finish tomorrow and I'll save it to my jump drive so that when you come in tomorrow that we're all automatically ready to go and work on this again. Do you need more pictures? Do you need me to find a website for you that you can use? What do you need to do? Jot it down on that whiteboard and we'll take care of it tomorrow. For the cool fact, what we can you probably like put like uh, some pictures, pictures, pictures and like your some cool snacks, you some have snacks, some cool snacks, and we need okay, to so finish all cool of the board. What about you? Yeah. What do you need? I'm going to have one. Do you need pictures? Do you need to find more pictures? Do you need to Google or you need to look at That's great. All right, so you've got it going. So you've got the brain, how it works. And there you've got your location. Have you got some mute, some sound in there? Yeah. Uh -huh. On the first one, it's a dermal, and then the second one, it's voltage. Okay, so now you're ready to go ahead and you're ready to talk about the function and all the different parts. That's your next thing, right? Okay, do you need anything else, or are you in good shape? We're, we're in well, good. yeah, we're in good shape right now.